Hey guys, Mark Argimut here, and in this video, I'm going completely unscripted because, ooh, wow, okay, I gotta talk about Super Mario Bros. Wonder because uh, it's just amazing how this game looks. I mean, when the reveal started, I thought, huh, what's this about? And then Mario showed up looking all different. I mean, just look at the game right now. This entire game just looks so, so different. We've had so many installments about the new Super Mario Brothers, new Super Mario Brothers 2, yada yada. The same rinse and repeat style, and you know, level design and everything, and enemies. It got repetitive, and people were tired of the new Super Mario Brothers and new stuff, you know. It was annoying. And now with this game, they dropped the new. Now it's called Super Mario Brothers Wonder, not new Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Which honestly doesn't really sound that bad if you say it out loud, but you know, people are tired of it, so I'm glad Nintendo decided to drop that new thing anyway. And let's talk about the world, because I'm pretty sure they're gonna take place in the Mushroom Kingdom. It must be like very, very, very far away, especially since the toes look all different, and the enemies all look different, and that one Wiggler prince looking one on Luigi's back, he d might be the prince of this kingdom, maybe. We don't know if it's a kingdom or not. Though, in the trailer, it says, Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. Which could also explain why maybe Daisy's there. I mean, we don't know yet. We might, we don't know yet. I mean, I mean, maybe my related is Sasuke Terrestrial Land? I don't know. But we gotta wait and see. Now, before I talk, talk about the characters and stuff, I will touch, talk about the items and everything around here and, on, and the enemies. Okay, so the items around here, they're so different. Yeah, we can clearly tell we're gonna get, like, the Fire Flower and everything and other items. But for the new things, wonder seeds and wonder flowers, turning everything so tipsy turvy and everything so weird and everything, like, I wonder how all the effects will be. Will it just be the ones we see there, or will there be more? I'm pretty sure there'll be more because I'm because I'm pretty sure Nintendo will like to hold off on things to let us know and find out for ourselves in the future. Now, the levels and the enemies themselves. All of them are just different. Sure, we got Goombas and Koopas, even Wigglers, but all of them are different in a way. The Goombas, well, the Goombas all look, you know, the same, aside from when they started the Wonder thing. And then the Wiggler was skating on with roller skates, even the Koopas were skating around with roller skates. The thing all feels different. So more evolved, and the emotion and expressions on, on them just feel and look different and everything. That's why I really love about this game, because it feels different, especially with the new art style. The art style is just, you know, people say it reminded them of, like, uh, Yoshi's Crafted World, I think. Yeah, I don't know if that's, like, the edge that style they went with, but the style is different. And everything, the whole world feels alive. And that's especially with the flowers talking everywhere. And then, you know, the elephant, you know, the elephant uh, <laughs> item. Uh, people have been saying that maybe the elephant thing might be exclusive to Mario, and then the other characters will get different animal forms. And that would be good. It would save, you know, the, you know, whole everyone else turning into elephants. I do not want to see a Yoshi elephant. Oh my goodness. That would be so weird. Speaking of enemies, we can tell that Bowser is clearly involved in this, and Bowser Jr. will make an appearance. But he'll look different. Way different. I'm pretty sure he's gonna take the Wonder um, uh, Cedar Flower and, you know, get all weird and everything. Because once we got once we got into that um, uh, scene where Bowser Jr. shows up and transforms, Mario shrinks. So I guess that mechanic there is trying to dodge his attacks while trying to get back to normal size. So I think that's how the, ba the battle will go. But um, uh, what role it will be, I have no idea. It's clearly different. Cl I'm uh, clearly different about how Bowser's gonna be playing a role in this. Plus, even the castle looks different. So, you gotta wonder how the final boss will be like. Ugh, must be very intense. The characters. Okay. They are all so awesome. Mario looks great. The expressions he shows, amazing. We don't see much from Luigi, but it, it, I can tell he looks great. And then Peach, adorable. I'm, I'm glad she didn't get kidnapped this time and is playing a role in this. Toad. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to be changing him up between color toes because yellow toad, blue toad, red toad. I don't know, it'll be different colored. But if he does yellow toad, then eh, oh well. But still, it's great to see him there. And then Yoshi. Yoshi, we're playing as Yoshi in this. Sometimes you can actually rest ride Yoshis, which you are able to do. We can see Mario do that in the trailer. But Yoshi, who also looks very different, by the way, we can play as him and the other multiple characters and colors of Yoshi. 
So I'm glad to see that. So Yoshi's playing a role in this. And then, the big, big, big surprise of all, Daisy. Princess Daisy is a playable character in this game. In a mainline console Mario game. That is amazing. Now, this isn't her first time playing appearing in a mainline game because people have noted that her first playable appearance in a mainline title was Super Mario Run. Which, yes, I know is was a mobile game, but Nintendo Nintendo did confirm that it is a mainline title somehow. I don't remember where, but yeah, it is considered a mainline title, and since Daisy did appear there, it did it does kind of count as a mainline title, so but still. This is the first time she's there in a mainline console game. And I'm on to no surprise I'm on to everyone else. People were overjoyed seeing that, myself included. I've been wanting to see Daisy in a mainline title on a console thing for a long time. She's always been like shoved us in the sports and party stuff. But now with this, it shows that Nintendo has been listening and hearing our cries and try and deciding to try things um, new and take her out of the only sports and party game spin-off stuff and put her in the mainline titles. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo. Now, I wonder how her power-ups will look like because now we can see how Fire Daisy, Ice Daisy, Tanuki Daisy, I don't know what other power-ups we'll be getting, but all the power-up versions, I cannot wait to see those. Now, I will say, people have been saying that maybe Mario isn't voiced by Charles Montanette in this game because he sounds different. Charles has only recorded voice lists for Super Mario Odyssey and Luigi's Mansion 3 and certain um, uh, alts in Mario Kart Tour. In all the other recent installments we've been getting, Nintendo has been recycling a lot of voice clips. So, it, 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 and so in every single voice clip, it sounds like normal, the same, yada yada. And yes, people are going to probably say, but he voiced in the movie. Yes, he did voice characters in the, in the Mario movie. But that movie was probably recorded a long time ago. They don't record voices like immediately like a week ago or anything. They record them way ahead in advance. And plus remember, Charles has a lot of range. He voiced Mario and Luigi's dad in the movie. And he voiced way other characters other than Mario, Mario and Luigi and the other ones in different video games as well. And remember, Charles is getting older. So it's safe to assume that he's trying a different tone and different voice direction in this game. It's just like with Tom Kenny voicing Spongebob. He's getting older. And his voice and laugh is different now. It's been a while since we got a new voice list for the characters. So that's why you're not used to hearing them sound different. Hey, we're also going to be getting new voice lists for Luigi and Peach and even Daisy and Toad. And even Yoshi too. Ugh, I'm so glad to finally get new voice lists for Daisy. Man, it's been so long, long time. I can finally stop hearing the Mario Kart 8 voice clips. Thank God. Now, other than that, that's all we get from the trailer. We got basically the gist of it, the whole um, uh, gameplay, characters, stages, yada yada. We already know how it's going to be. Now, how's it going to play and feel? I have no idea. Now, we just wait and see what comes next for the game. I'm pretty sure we're going to get another trailer closer to release, maybe a month before an Ofriwu trailer. Since this game surprisingly comes out this year in October. October! I figure this game will come out in like next year because of how it looks. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this game. I'm very, very, very happy with how it looks. It's a new spin on the Mario uh, Super Mario Bros. 2D series, and I'm so glad to see it happen. I'm so glad we got multiple playable characters, Daisy especially, and Yoshi. So yeah, thank you Nintendo for that. I cannot wait to main Daisy the entire level. Or frankly, the entire game, because, you know, I'm going to do that. I just hope this game has online play, because if we are able to play online play with our, with our friends, it will be amazing. Oh, that would be fun. All right, guys. So what do you think about this game, and how do you feel about the characters? Daisy being the game, I know I want to hear your reactions to that. Tell, let me know in the comments. I know you want to tell me. Take care, guys, and have a wonderful day.